Hi guys, and welcome to my hallway. In this video, we're going to make a quick and dirty 2x4 foot uh, burrows and badgers board. Gruffy Crow. For this, we're going to need a 2x4 sheet of 9mm MDF, a couple of lengths of this 18mm by 40 yard mill plain timber, some screws and some glue, a selection of tools to facilitate various amounts of screwing and cutting. Uh, this can almost definitely be done without power tools, but I'm finding the drill and screwdriver uh, pretty much a lifesaver. It'd be even quicker if I had a nice chop saw or something rather than the handsaw. And the final ingredient is this grass mat from Javis. These come in a variety of different colours and styles. I'll talk more about this one later. So first things first, we're going to cut the spars to the right length. The board claims to be 61 centimetres across, but it is also made of lies. So from each length, you should be able to cut a long piece and a short piece and have a bit left over. The long piece, uh, in the way I'm building it, is the length of the bottom board uh, minus the width of the two end pieces. So in this case, the shorter pieces are 61 centimetres and the longer pieces are 118.4 in theory. But as I said, this bottom board is not 100% accurate. So in the next stage, we're gonna kind of work to the bottom board. Uh, the, one of the leftover pieces can be put aside now and the other one we will save for later. The next step is to join the frame together. What I'm doing here is I'm just putting a long piece and a short piece up at a right angle to each other and drilling a hole straight through. Now I'll countersink it and drive a screw through there and repeat again so I've got a nice sturdy right angle joint. Which is why it's helped to cut these on to a right angle as best you can. I'm now going to repeat that around all four corners and you should end up with something a bit like this. So I've flipped this over uh, so the flattest possible side is now facing upwards uh, and I'm going to go and run a bead of wood glue all the way around the top of this and then I'm just going to shoot around smooth all that out and with that all smoothed out I'm now going to take the piece of MDF and I'm just going to lay that back down on top and if we used this uh, sheet as a guide for when we were putting that frame together it should fit almost perfectly but the wood I found from B&Q it's generally got a bit of a twist and a curve to it so we're going to sort that out now. So we're going to start on the middle of one side and I'm going to start on the short side and I'm just going to put a line up the wood and the top uh, so it's all nice and flush and just do what we did before, drill a hole, countersink it and pop a screw in. So I'm going to start to work around the outside of the board uh, making sure that we have lined this up as best as possible and at this point yeah everything should work out nice and flush. So now all those screws are in, that's putting pressure on the glue, we're gonna let the glue dry. Uh, but actually what we've got here is a nice framed up bit of board. Uh, and obviously you could make three of these and have a uh, four by six table. This is a good start for a nice modular table. Uh, and you could just leave it like this and use sort of neoprene mats and stuff. Uh, just as like a table extender. And I've made a few uh, fairly similar to this in the past. I'm gonna wait until the glue dries at the moment and then I'm gonna go and sand off all the edges and make that nice and flush before we go any further. So after the glue dried and I sanded all of the edges out to make sure there was no sharp or splintery bits. Uh, also cleaned up a bit of the excess glue. I've just used one of those spare offcuts and just uh, measured and just trimmed that uh, so it exactly fits in the middle nice and neatly uh, and I'm just going to throw some screws in there just to act as an extra little bit of bracing so none of this MDF sags not that I think it would on such a small board and a further screw in from the top uh, also with a generous amount of glue so next up we're going to add that topper that we looked at before when I was looking at these online I thought it seemed like a pretty quick and easy way to go but the more I look at it, the less impressed I am. This thing also gave off an entire sort of baggy worth of flock that I did collect up and uh, will be using for any terrain bits I make specifically for this board. And the more I look at it, the less sort of cool I think it looks. It just, you know, these uh, brown blobs have just been thrown on and that's just piled up sort of flock. 
and then we've got the sort of gravel sort of and now now the more I look at it it looks like you've just spun some glue around and thrown that on there but still if you're not specifically looking at it like that and want it, it's got some terrain around it it's still a fairly nice quick simple and has required no effort from me uh, I probably wouldn't grab one of these again though the thing I'm going to use to stick it down either rightly or wrongly I'm going to have a go with this contact adhesive uh, it should just be able to spray that on and lay it back down Okay, that's down. Like most things in my life, uh, that didn't go as badly as I imagined, or as smoothly as I'd like. Uh, but it's down, and I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. You will notice it doesn't go all the way to the edges. So that's what I was expecting, looking at the measurements, uh, and I've got a pretty uh, sort of consistent border all the way around. I intend to fix that with some lengths of this beading, and I'm just gonna place that round the edges, around the borders, uh, like so, and I am going to attempt a 45 degree cut on these. For these strips I'm using my right angle to mark the length and then uh, the 45 degrees on it to mark where I'm cutting. And I'm actually using my jeweler's saw that I normally use for minis uh, to get nicer cuts on these. And then to attach them to the board I'm just using a few of these little brad nails out of my staple gun. But you could just use small nails or glue to get these down if you even wanted to do this step. I'm just going to use the smallest hammer I have just to try and level any of these that I'm completely sunk in. I'm going to just give it a little bit of sandpaper. I haven't decided if I'm going to finish uh, this with anything or paint it or anything. I'm pretty happy with the way it looks at the moment to be honest. And here is what that can look like all finished up. So this is just on my dining table. Uh, we've got a bit of left the placemats in place to to protect the table itself uh, and I'm pretty happy with the way that trim looks on the board and like I thought that grass mat looks a lot better when there's stuff placed on and around it really happy where those came out and this almost definitely won't be the last one I make and that's all for this video please let me know what you thought down in the comments uh, maybe subscribe for more and as ever, thanks for watching. Bye.